Short on taxpayer money, it's what the Glendale River Hills School District recently realized. Now the board is trying to find a solution in private. Our Sam Kramer is live in Glendale, where an open records attorney says a closed session meeting tonight violates state law. Tell us more, Sam. Hi there, Ted and Steph. The Wisconsin Transparency Project tells Fox 6 the state statute the district cited here tonight to go into closed session is actually intended for discussion on one public employee. Now, tonight's agenda included recommendations from the district's administration about potential staff cuts next year after it says former staff made some significant accounting errors. I'm going to call the meeting to order. Inside Glen Hills Middle School. The school board has some homework to do. We are now moving into closed session. More on that later. This all started months ago. I'm just so stunned by the change in numbers, by the fact that we're looking at a $3.6 million deficit for this year. This January 9th presentation from consultants and then business manager Lindsey Johnson revealed a $3.6 million problem. You could see and hear the frustration from the board as that number is about 18% of the district's budget. You missed like $1.8 million in expenses. It's just because I don't know if um, it's not factoring in like a portion of the, the special ed transfer. I'd have to go back and look. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm you looking at the general. Johnson resigned a week later. In exchange for her resignation, records obtained by Fox 6 show the board waived the liquidated damages provision from her contract, a clause that would require payment for failure to perform that contract. It's incredibly shocking. It's heartbreaking um, that we're in this situation. Nicole Giese is mom to four students in the district. She doesn't want the solution to equal fewer teachers. No one wants that to happen. Which brings us back to Tuesday's closed session when I asked about the law. So the statute you cite talks about just one public employee. It sounds like you guys are going to be talking about the administration's recommendation for staffing reductions. Seems like that would go against the statute. Um, so we're in closed session now, but I can I can uh, speak to that later. But all of our um, all of our language is proved by our legal team. Now, to be clear, we didn't learn anything about the district's plan. This was a gavel in, gavel out of closed session style of meeting. The district has told us and the public that it is looking at all avenues to avoid staff cuts. And school board president Danielle Bailey, who you heard from there at the end, says that she will update the public both during and after tomorrow's regularly scheduled meeting. We're live tonight in Glendale, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Was this mistake ever determined to be incompetence or anything else? Incompetence surely seems to be on the table. No one's talking really the specifics of it, but from all signs, that it seems like they may have had some staff that maybe weren't qualified uh, to really kind of handle the complexities that come with a public school district budget. And we'll stay on that open records, uh, open meeting request uh, tomorrow. Sam, thanks.